it was popping with y'all, man. It's two on the back in the cut. But I'm in a different cut, you know what I'm saying? Today, we catching some killers, man. Now, the title of today's bit is when evil kids realize they've been caught. Y'all evil motherfuckers, man. Y'all know who y'all is. Y'all niggas be thinking fucking crazy shit in y'all minds, man. Y'all niggas be acting on that shit, man. Y'all stay the fuck away from me. But I'm not even gonna waste y'all time, man. Y'all make sure you got y'all snacks, y'all drinks, y'all smoke, all that, man. We about to get into the vibes today, man. Let's get it. In March of 2021, the Dellen, Florida Police Department received a frantic phone call from Lord. a man later identified as Colby Allen Parker. I like to an incident here. I just had a Vietnam veteran attack me and I had to defend myself. Okay. And it just got out of control. The Vietnam <laughs> veteran he mentioned was his grandfather, Ronald Wells Sr., who Parker claimed grabbed a knife and attacked him. Oh. Only moments after the initial call, the police would receive a second frantic phone call, this time from one of Parker's friends. Just called my phone, and he was, I mean, just sounded high out of his mind. I was like, is Pops there? Um, his grandfather that he lives with. And he's like, no. And I said, are you all right? He's like, Pops is done. He tried to attack me, and I killed him. When police arrived at the scene, they found Ronald laying dead, a bloody baseball bat, a knife, and Colby Parker. He claimed it was self-defense, and at first they believed him. But only minutes after investigating the scene, Colby would unveil well, a disturbing secret on, nigga, and take him clown. all the way to the top of the suspect list. What? 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 What is that? Those are ears. Hey! Oh, ears? What the fuck? Yeah, bro, demon. Bro did it. Use the view and just get a couple. Of him down real quick. Hey, hey, don't do that, buddy. Don't do that. That's not Sit good. your ass back down. Only seconds after police arrive on the scene, Colby decides to lunge at the officers. This kind what of behavior would doing? definitely put the officers on high alert. What the fuck the is officers he going, pat nigga? Colby down to make sure he doesn't have a weapon, but find nigga, none. They'd be quick off the hip with niggas like that. If that's a nigga, bro. <laughs> Nigga, they ain't even thinking about that shit, bro. Y'all, why, why y'all put little Colby down? He killed his grandfather Instead, too, man. Instead, Colby's hands being covered in blood, and they decide to photograph them. What do you got on you? Turn and place him against the car. We're not gonna keep playing this game. No. We're gonna have some issues. Hands there. Get this. Grab a hand. Yeah. Get this to the Does he have anything or not? No, not weapon-wise. Nothing. Okay. Sweet. Not weapon wise. Can I take some pictures of you? You no injuries at all? No, face shots. Yeah. Is this a modeling gig, money? As the cops start to gather more evidence, tensions begin to rise. Oh, oh, can I see your gun, bro? No. The cop, of course, oh, denies what? Parker's request to see his gun. The nonchalant nature of the comment is concerning in and of itself, and without a doubt would put any officer on high alert. But the thought of Parker actually getting the gun is even more alarming. Obviously, it's unclear what his intentions were when he asked what the that. Fuck? But I think we can all assume it was nothing good. Nah, he's just like he give off that energy, bro. Just like any any second, that nigga could just snap like that and just like do something, bro. It's just like I don't know. Where was the knife at originally? Tell me if I were to sit back now, bud. Go ahead. Bo, have a seat. Bo, bo, bo. Personally, that nigga's not calling the bull. To make matters like worse, while the officers begin questioning Parker, he gets him off of the truck for a second time. He tries to play it off as just a stretch, but the officers on the scene aren't buying it. He's breathing heavily, touching his face, fidgeting his arms. These are all signs that his stress and anxiety levels are rising say. rapidly. 
It's expected He's for spotting, someone who had just been involved in such a horrific scene to be acting so odd. However, at this point, the officers are beginning to think Colby is acting increasingly suspicious. His actions are leading them to believe he's definitely hiding something from them. So why was the knife on the front porch? You know? He knows something. Nothing. Oh, the knife? Yeah, it was over here. You're good. Just hang out there, bud. There's a dog. It's right. aggressive. Other than that, I don't know where Junior is. I asked and he didn't know. Bro's trying to get active. The officers talk amongst themselves and begin questioning the whereabouts of Colby's uncle, Junior. Here's what they know at this point. They have a dead man on the front porch and the last person who was with him is... Forex.com, committed to helping improve your trading you skills with math, innovative bro. tools. One one, Our baby. exclusive performance... Colby, and he's claiming it was self-defense. But if that was true, why did he ask for the officer's gun? Why did he lunge at them? Little did they know all of their questions were about to be answered. So, oh, 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 what, what, what? Junior? Yeah, where's Junior? Ronnie and Ronnie Junior, right here. Ronnie, okay, what is, what is that? Those are ears. Those are ears. Can you hold those up for me? Colby reaches inside his pockets and pulls out both his grandfather's severed ears. What the fuck? And at that moment, Parker's behavior started to make sense. Can you hold those out for me? Okay. All right. So I'll take these from you. Oh, I, I ain't touching no it. ears, gang. Hell no. Uh, yep. At this point, the officers know they were dealing with someone no truly on, dangerous. Okay. So the next moments are extremely vital. They have to proceed with caution. So it may seem strange that they decide to take photos of their newfound evidence before putting him in handcuffs. But it's important to make sure their suspect stays calm. Because if they pull out handcuffs now, there was no telling if Parker would snap and put everyone in danger. So where's Ronnie Jr. at? Is he inside? Is there somebody else inside? Hey, Sarge. We're gonna need ACO. Oh. What? Probably gonna need ACO. Yeah, bro, you can't. Bro's insane, bro. Hey! Tase that motherfucker, man. He's trying to get this fucking gun. Have it? Okay. Taser. Taser, nigga. That boy's weak as hell. 33 traffic late. We're fighting him. Colby no puts up a fight, like that, even trying to pull the gun off of one <laughs> of the cops. <laughs> we gotta go back to that shit. <laughs> Don't be cat me punching. That bitch ain't even bacon junior whopper, nigga. Colby puts up a fight, even trying to pull the gun off of one of the cops. But Colby was no ah, match for three officers in a taser. Down. He's gonna kill somebody on the scene, bro. It'd be the last nigga to see the nigga that just died on the oh, scene no, no. and trying to steal a cop. Oh, no. Ain't that stupid, gang? It was a boy last Come week. Come on, Zach. Come on. Come on, Zach. I got the other hand. Get the hand, Get the hand, hand Zach. Pull his leg down. Get the other hand. Get it back to him. I have it. It didn't take them long to pull him down to the ground, cuff him, and cart him off in the police cruiser. 
Eventually, Parker was charged with second-degree murder, two counts of battery on a law enforcement officer, and resisting arrest with violence. That looks crazy. Colby Parker's evidence pointed straight to an easy arrest. But what happens when the only evidence police find is a lifeless body upstairs? I just got home from vacation with my family, and uh, I didn't have a key to come in the house. And I see that my husband's cars are here. I was knocking on the door trying to get in. Okay, so your husband, you think your husband is in the house? I, 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 I'm assuming that he is because we have three cars, all three cars in here. I've been texting him and calling him the last couple of days and nothing, nothing. arrived home from vacation after being be unable to reach her like husband, 59-year-old Richard Warren, for several days. She came home from vacation and she got in her husband's on the door. She got some little bullet or some kind of person back in there. Okay. Like, you know, glasses, <laughs> they don't have any keys to the house. No, they're in the house, she said. Despite Richard's car being in the driveway, he wasn't answering the door, and without keys, police were left with no choice. There were clear signs of a brutal force entry, but the crime they would soon uncover and the reasons behind it would prove as senseless as it was utterly tragic. Okay, we obviously got the garage door open, but the inside door is locked. We're just gonna force that open and go take a look, okay? All right. Let's do it. Upstairs, uh, Supercharge your business with the all new Shopify point of sale. The oh, all in one. In case we go place, we're still trying to figure out what's going on. Yeah, so, in all over the place. All over the place. Another set of officers moved to the back of the house out of view oh, of neighbors and family. Up. The officers who entered through the garage emerged to report the grisly findings. If anyone on scene had suspected the man of taking his own life, the discovery of multiple shell casings immediately refuted the theory. Right. This was a murder scene. Yeah, I'm very sorry your husband just passed away. No. You can only imagine that by this point, Jane would have no choice but to have been thinking the worst of the situation. And her reaction to the devastating news only supported this. There were multiple um, shell casings found at the scene. From the high-powered rifle, a 223 caliber rifle, Dr. Warren was Damn, shot multiple two, two, times. Three? Richard had been shot multiple times with a high-powered rifle, two, two, including three? in the head. It was a vicious crime that demonstrated an extreme amount of anger by the perpetrator. And when Jane is brought in for questioning, two potential suspects emerge, both as unlikely as the murder itself. 31-year-old Michael Warren and 29-year-old Mark Warren, Richard's two adult sons. You've been married 10 years. Man, so they was the ones that died on some shit? Let me, let me write it back. And when Jane is brought in for questioning, two potential suspects emerge, both as unlikely as the murder wow. itself. 31-year-old Michael Warren and 29-year-old Mark Warren, Richard's two adult sons. You've been married 10 years. How would you characterize your marriage between you and Richard? Good. It's nice. Good? It's okay. nice. He had problems with his son, Michael and Mark. Apparently. They threatened him. They threatened him. How did they threaten him? To chop him up. To chop up their own father. For years prior to the murder, the brothers were living in a house their father had bought them. But when Richard decided it was time he cut them off financially, and they would be forced to fend for themselves, they instead chose to enact a deadly plan. Only days later, the Beechwood and South Euclid officers would- Lazy ass niggas, gang. Y'all can't get no job, fool. Y'all can't get no fucking job, bro. Y'all gonna get mad because your dad gonna force you to actually work for yourself, my nigga. Be an adult, bro. Arrive at the brother's house Stupid, to question bro. them on the death of their father. But when the officers started knocking at the door, the brothers began shooting at them from inside the home. Damn, SWAT arrived at the scene and a 12-hour standoff man. ensued. When the officers eventually breached the door, they discovered Mark and Michael both dead from self-inflicted gunshot wounds. Unfortunately, both of these cases are examples of when officers arrived at the scene after lives had already been lost. But what happens when officers catch the criminal red-handed right before tragedy? Click here to find out. Are you interested in- Man, that's some crazy shit, man. Y'all let me know any suggestions in the comments, man. Y'all already know who it be. Too easy, nigga.